Hey Marilyn, welcome to 114 Trout Pond Lane. This is the road that takes you to the home. Runs right across the Bold Creek here. And you can see it's a very popular place for RV campers. You've got several on this side and on the other side of the creek there's pads for more. So six months out of the year this is a pretty quiet place. However, during the summertime, you do have quite a bit of campers coming up and down this road. Here's the front of the house. There's your driveway, which is great because it wraps around and there's actually another exit to the driveway. Those two cars over there are the folks who live here and you can see that little gate takes you through to a separate RV park, which can get you back out on the main road very quickly. But as you can tell, you've got beautiful mountain views all around you. And the Bold Creek up front, it's very nice. We're gonna go inside for a quick tour of the interior. And then we'll take another look outside before we're finished. Here's the kitchen and dining table. And that has a open flow into the living area. There's a propane gas fireplace there. And then we've got a couple of bedrooms. First one's here. Probably about 10 by 12 foot bedroom size. Right next to it's a full bathroom with a single vanity sink and your shower tub insert. Over here we have another bedroom. Got a standard size closet there. Then you've got a linen closet for storage. Pretty standard size. And another one right next to it. For your household cleaning supplies. Now we're going to take a peek downstairs to the basement. Once we're down here, you've got uh, another full bathroom. which has got a stand-up shower, a little window, single vanity and a commode. Then down here, there's the propane furnace. In addition to that, you've got a very nice wood stove that actually heats the whole house by the owner's admission. Down here in the corner is something a little unusual. This is called a sump pump. And we'll talk a little bit more about that on the telephone. But then you've got a nice big space in here. That could be a bedroom or a living space. The gentleman has his office set up down here. Then he's got him a closet back through here. And a washer and dryer is in the next closet opening. So that washer and dryer is downstairs in the second level. Then this third closet's got the water heater, which is 
new January this year and also the pressure tank for the well that was replaced in April of last year the home has good maintenance good maintenance records throughout its ownership at least with these current owners out here takes you to the backyard and also the wood pile And as you can see, this side yard, that fence right there would be your property line. You've got some neighbors here. And then there's even like a little road. A little driveway you could use if you wanted to. And then the back of the house, there's the well. And the 250 gallon propane tank takes about 300 bucks to fill it up and that should last all winter to keep the furnace going. The property goes quite a bit further back. It's about a one acre lot. There's a couple of storage buildings that have been put on here that are well insulated. The second of one actually has power running out to it, which is a pretty good deal. And then the property line goes to this fence that was just put in probably about two or three months ago. And you've got this big open green space back here. And that's looking back at the house. And then there's that third storage building. And this takes you back around, there's my car. Takes you back around to the porch. Now these steps right here, if we were to go into that door, that would take you right back into the living room and the kitchen. But I just wanna walk you around the porch here. Covered porch on three sides. Little swinging chair. gas grill so there's the tour take a look and let me know what you think hope you're having a great day Marilyn talk to you later